Now you want to see some pizza and see the forte cooking. Now, as we heat this up, the indicator on top shows about 600. That is the temperature at the top of the pizza oven. But we want this stone to get hot. So we're going to check the temperature, see what the stone is. We're only about five minutes in. I think we need about 15 minutes to get this stone nice and hot. Pretty impressive for only five minutes. So we're going to make our first pizza in the pizzella forte. Got my dough here. I'm going to go ahead and flour up the counter a little bit. Granite countertops come in handy. Okay, this down. And roll it out a little bit. Perfect for our personal pizza. All right, looking good. I'm gonna go ahead and flour up our peel. This is one of the things that gets people really stuck, no pun intended. So we wanna flour up our peel a little bit. And the thing to do, the trick is to do the pizza on the peel. So it's ready to go. And then you want to make sure you can slide it around. There's no friction. So we did a little test here and it seems to be pretty good. We can actually get it off easily. That's the key and you won't have a problem. Uh, you want the peel to be totally dry. No moisture on the dough. Make sure it's floured on the back end. And we'll get ready to build our pizza. So we're going to use a little sauce on this. Simple pizza tonight. We're just doing cheese, kalmada olive and some onion. Nothing fancy. We'll go ahead and get our pizza sauce on here. Love the sauce. You know what? Simple's good. It's gonna taste delicious. Get this pizza over. You don't want to get the crust uh, covered at the end, so you want that crust to rise up. So we got our sauce on there. Good enough. We'll go ahead and get our cheese on. A little bit of cheese here, like this. And we're gonna get our onion down and our kamado olive, and finish it off with some cheese. Sweet onion is fantastic. Get all sweet onion around here. Oh, it smells so good. And then. A little salty. We've got our Kamada olives. Love the Kamada olives. And you know, they can be wet out of a jar if they're uh, if you're not careful. So give them a squeeze, drain the water out. You don't want to have them too watery. And we're going to get those on top of the pizza. Like so. Finish off with a couple more Kamada olives here. And then we're going to finish off with our cheese and go out to our Pizzella Forte. We're going to cook ourselves a nice pizza pie. You can never have too much mozzarella. Let's go outside and fire up our pizza. So we're at the Pizza La Forte. We've got it fired up. It's been out here for about almost 20 minutes. We're at 700 degrees. I'm gonna check the internal temperature with my gun and see how hot the pizza stone is. And the pizza stone, 725 degrees. That's hot. This pizza is gonna be done super, super fast. So we're gonna go ahead and launch it, see how it turns out. At 740 degrees, this temperature was perfect for the 60 second pizza. We put it in, closed the door, opened it up 30 seconds later. It was absolutely fantastic. I could not believe the results of this pizza oven. Look at that. And look at the pizza sliding down the peel. That's awesome. If you want a great pizza oven, the Pizzella Forte is the perfect pizza oven. It is portable, runs on gas, you can do wood pellets. Absolutely fantastic. And I'll leave you with the pizza pa-pow parting shot. And click on this pizza playlist.